Gary, just taking a step back in time to the 90s, how did you ever beat IBM's greatest computer ever built, Deep Blue, that was able to calculate 200 million chess positions a second? How? No, uh, you know, uh, to the credit of IBM, I have to say that, you know, in my view, Watson is much more sophisticated computer because it, uh, it, it has been dealing with uh, words, with grammar, with, you know, meanings. So, I mean, and Deep Blue was not even chess computer. It was a very successful uh, um, pro pro uh, uh, um, uh, um, project of parallel processors. So they, they had this the massive parallel processor structure with 256 processors. Each of them was like a tiny chess computer. And Deep Blue was a powerful machine, so everybody remembers, you know, the second match in New York, which mm -hmm. I, I failed to win. <laughs> <laughs> but I won the first one, you know, and this is, I said, yesterday I was in Philadelphia, and they asked me about, yeah, you know, it says you lost to the blessed wet second. In Philadelphia, I won. <laughs> so it's, and uh, um, look, uh, well, Deep Blue was quite vulnerable, and I have to tell you that. In, in what ways? Oh, as any computer is vulnerable, it's just it's the it's a brute force of calculation. But you know you should not you know frighten people with two hundred million positions per second because chess is mathematically infinite game. At least for us, it's the all number of legal moves is ten power forty five. Mm -hmm. That's more than number of atoms in the solar system. So when, I don't think you know you can expect one day computer to play. You know, E2, E4, and announcing made in 15,655 moves. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So it's the, um, that's why it just simply calculating is not enough. And, uh, you know, machines uh, um, could make a mistake, what I said, it's based on their horizon, you know, like a black horizon, because machine could see X number of moves, you know, just it could be as deep as, let's say, eight moves, 10 moves, whatever the number is. But, when you reach a certain position, unless it's forced win, you have to evaluate it. And evaluation requires you know, a certain understanding. So, and uh, in p positions with a broken balance, you know, when you have material advantage on one side, and other side you know, has some positional advantage. So you just have to apply human intuition. And machines, are, machines were quite vulnerable at that time. By the way, today you can buy a chess engine. Uh, you can put it on your PC. Uh, it would make probably six to eight million positions per second, mm -hmm. but it's much stronger than the blue because this, over the last 20 years, there was so much information uh, that has been accumulated, and and uh, um, uh, the the level of understanding of chess, understanding the patterns, it's it's it's, it's quite different. So I would say today it would be virtually impossible for even for the world champion sort of to play uh, chess computer. Um, a strong chess engine uh, on equal terms. Uh, because the biggest challenge when humans are facing computers, it's not even calculation, it's our psychology. Because you know, when we're reaching winning position or good position, we can relax. It's just the, we can't keep the same level of vigilance throughout the entire game. Because I mean, I analyze games I played at the highest level, world championship matches, and even the best games, they always contain at least tiny inequities. There's always something that, yeah, okay, it's not the best move in the position. So if you look at the, uh, a very high quality game played by a top player, out of 50 moves, 45 good moves, four great moves, and one tiny inaccuracy, which, is, which, which never you know, uh, 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 hurts you in a, in a human chest. If you're facing computer, this tiny inaccuracy could cost you, you know, uh, uh, a game. It's not your, you'll not win, but it's, it will be a draw. So, the humans, you know, they, uh, the way we play, the way we operate, you know, we cannot reach the same level of vigilance required to beat machine because machines are so steady. And this level of steadiness is, 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 is that it's not, uh, it cannot be achieved.